Oh, that's wrong. But it's right. Yeah, it's 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 really right. But uh, uh, I want to dive into your acting career. Okay. You always pop up in like the most oddest, entertaining films there is. And we're, we're friends through Facebook and all that stuff, so I get to see what you're doing all right, the time. Right, right. Uh, where, where, where are you from initially, and what made you get into acting? Well, I'm, a, I'm from West Virginia originally. Okay. And a woman made me get yeah. into acting. I mean, so there you have it. A girlfriend? Yes, yes. At the time, high school or no, college? No, no, here in Los Angeles. Really? Right. And Wh- she was an actress. So that's Did you go why. to college at all? Did you, go to, did you no, study drama I, in high school or college? No, no. I had no desire ever. Really? You, were yeah. just, you just moved to L.A.? What would you move to L.A. for originally? Well, I thought I was going to be a model, and I, I would really... Shut the fuck up. Well, I was, six, I was too tall for that game, right? Yeah. You need to be 6'1", six 6'2". Six you, yeah, you're a large the, man. You're 6'5"-ish. You're, you're six six yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably 6'6". So, six six. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I was standing in front of one of those uh, prison walls, and I noticed when I saw the photo, I was like, 6'6"? Six six, yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell? So, it, you know, being tall in Hollywood is tough. Sure. It's not a, I mean. No, I, 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 look, I tell people when I first moved here and I sent out my headshot and resume, uh, you know, you'd put your height, weight, all that, all that. Yeah. So I'm 6'3". Um, I got, I, I sent out 150 three times a week for like three weeks. I got one call back from a commercial agency. And they said too tall? Yes. Yeah. And they go, are you really 6'3"? I go, yep. And they go, oh, you're too tall for car commercials. And they hung up the phone. And I was like, what the fuck? But like, yeah. but, I, I, but I remember seeing like uh, you know swingers and stuff like that, and I was just like, dude, Vince Vaughn is tall. He's six five. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. he's right up he's there. A big he's a big boy. One of the biggest guys working. Right. So what made you move to L.A.? The weather. <laughs> That's it, huh? Yeah, I came out here with a girl. You did from West Virginia. This, yeah, then I met this other girl. You met this other girl, and then another girl. Well, I got into class, girl. right? I got into this acting class. Her name was Peggy Fury, and uh, people in the class were Meg Ryan, Eric Stoltz, Jennifer really? Tilly. Jeez. Michelle Pfeiffer, Sean Penn. All yeah, the, the world, heavy hitters. Nick Cage. So this was a really competitive uh, class arena. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Like you were not, everybody was doing their, their best work. Sure. It, and still, I think, to this day, it was some of the best because your preparation was so total. Right. You know, you just did not, everybody had to do the uh, scene usually twice. Sure. But the goal was to only do it once. Right, right, right. right. Cause Did you know at the time when you were with all those guys how great they were? Yes and no. I mean, you're competing with them, right? Sure. And uh, Well, for, for example, when I, when I moved here, you know, I jumped into a class immediately because that's what they told me out of school. They were like, right. hey, get into a class immediately. Don't Smart. let your, your skills right. slack. And right. I was like, all right, cool. I jumped into this class I would say 20 people were in there. I would say three were good. Right. Um, and I knew who was great and who wasn't. And I could weed that out pretty easily. Right. But with heavy hitters like this. Well, they were all working, right? They were all going away to do a movie right. while I was there. So, you know, the proof was in the pudding. Yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> so speak, so right? it, it is and it isn't because I think there's a way in films where you can cheat. I, sure. I, I know I'm guilty of it. I do it all the time. Only because I spend so much time in post. I know that right, I can cheat right. angles, cheat takes. I can, you know, repeat it over and over and over and over again, and, and I'll be able to cut it myself. So my, my acting has is, is become lazier, I, I will say, as time goes by, only because I know post-production so well. Well, it requires less. Yes. Right. Yes, you, yes. Do, you do not need to. I know to, angles right. better than everybody else, so it's like uh, I, I cheat more. So I didn't know if those guys cheat more when they came back from movies. Um, no, I think we were all young and eager go-getters, and we believed in this craft and this technique, and you know we were purists. Sure. You know I was a, a knight on a white uh, charger. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I was in it for the art of acting. That's what uh, drew me. Right. Right. That's why I always ask uh, young actors I talk with today, "Why are you doing this?" A lot of them say fame, right? Well, that's... I the, want to be famous. That's the stupidest thing ever. I know, I know, but that, that's, the, that's the typical answer. It's like, ah, I want to be famous. Well, they asked these kids, they did a survey, would you rather be rich or famous? What did they say? Yeah, fam- famous. Famous, yeah. Because if you're rich, you can be as famous as you want to be. I can... Uh, you can buy your way into fame easily. Well, of course. Yeah. I pay $30,000 like a yeah. month to Rogers and Callan, or right? yeah, yeah, PR yeah, firm. Yeah, yeah. I'm at every uh, film magazine, opening. Yeah. I mean, yeah, every premiere. magazine. Yeah, So... Obviously, you'd rather be rich, uh, but 
I, I always like the, uh, there's a great line from uh, Charles Bukowski, the L.A. poet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fame is the last whore. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course it is. Because he became famous at the end of his life. Sure. Right? You know, Super old. He had, he had worked for years and years. And you know this fame thing. It's all about creating a persona, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, it, you How's know, it working out for you? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> uh, or you become infamous uh, right, if, right. for something. Sure. Um, so, so, so you're studying in school. What, what would you say? What was your first acting gig? Like, where you actually got paid for? It, it was uh, the NBC show Highway to Heaven. Really? Oh, with, my, with Michael Landon. With Michael Landon. Wow. How and was Landon? I heard he was, well, he was I, great. Was he? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, pros, pro, right? Victor French hired me, who was his buddy. Okay. And uh, directed this episode. And my first line was, "Get an ambulance." <laughs> Dude, it's funny how you remember your first line. Well, ever you never movie. forget that you one. Don't. Yeah. Get an ambulance. Get an ambulance. I'm still working on it. Get an ambulance. Yeah, get, <laughs> get an ambulance. Get, get an ambulance. An ambulance. Yeah, you, you yeah, start. You start improv. Get a fucking ambulance. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> oh, I worked on that line for days. Ah, I was yeah. so excited. You know, uh, net, first network television show and. I, 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 you know, it's fine. I remember mine. My for, from the first studio movie was uh, uh, a movie called The New Guy, and the the line was uh, "Wrong level, bitch." That's a good wrong first, level, that's bitch. A good first yeah, 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 line. yeah, yeah. See, yeah. I, I think you always remember. Funny enough, I don't remember any other lines from any anything else after that. That's right. I, but uh, a buddy of mine uh, who who's a great actor, his first TV show was uh, Gunsmoke, and okay, it, and his first movie was Cool Hand Luke, and I was like, that's. That's pretty good. That's amazing. <laughs> you, you, how do you beat that? Yeah, that's it's, you, you kind of. Yeah, it's all downhill after started that. Started. Right it's all downhill after there, that. Huh? Uh, so, so you, you you did this, and then, what? Well, well, how how did your career go after that? Up until, well, uh, I don't know. You just keep going, right? Yeah. I mean, you you we, we, enough to to pay the bills, or did you have to have another? No, job? I had to have other jobs to support my acting habit. Sure, you sure. Know, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't making enough money. I mean, especially in independent films. Right. right? Yeah, you don't make anything. Either, I mean, <laughs> that's the most impossible. I know. It's $125 a day. And you're like, all right, yeah. great. Well, the, back then it was more, but uh, they've gone in the wrong direction, yeah. these guys. Yeah. It's, it's almost shameful what they've done. It's, really. it's, it's, great. it's crazy. It's great for the producers. I mean, I enjoy the pay rate if, when I'm producing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but if, if, you know, if the, if the movie is successful, because sometimes it's not, and you're like, all right, fuck. Uh, that's the nature of the beast, I know. right? I mean, speaking of uh, uh, Ted Whitfield, yeah. what a difference the right distributor would have made on that, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The, the right PR. Absolutely. We've got to get the baby into the world, right? The yeah. world has to meet the baby. Yes. And the world never got to meet the baby. That's no. what happens. And, 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 and you and make the best Title film. change. Yeah, I mean, they, right. they, they change the title. They change the artwork. Uh, a lot of it. You, you can, you know, a, a lot of times it is out of your control. That's with, right. As with all these movies. Um, That's right. 